All right, what's up guys? We are back for another ESPN Highlight Reels Christmas edition. So first things first, guys, I have to say it is almost Christmas. It's the 23rd. Uh, it's Friday the 23rd at the time of recording this. So by the time you're hearing this, maybe you'll see it even after Christmas, before Christmas, whenever. Guys, happy holidays. Merry Christmas from MIC, our whole team. And this is the ESPN Highlight Reels. So as always, this is my number. This is myself in front of my setup, etc., etc. I am one of the creators at MIC, but most importantly... I am here to get you guys on the right track, understanding MIC process, but if you do have any questions and you are interested in the community, all you got to do is go to myinvestingclub.com, book a call, text this line directly, and uh, and we'll get started. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if MIC is for you. I'll get you confident in your decision. Guys, let's get into this thing. Monday the 19th, obviously this was Alex's watch list, and what I'm going to do this week a little bit is I'm going to change up the format just a, just a hair. I'm always showcasing Alex's trades, but because it was a little bit of a slower week, Alex was actually waiting for perfect setups. Um, while they didn't, you know, it was a little bit far and few in between, you know Bal's on everything because he just trades in a very different style under the same MIC process, but he's much more active during the week, you know, during the day, especially midday, those channels, and he trades a little bit different than Alex. So I actually wanted to showcase Bal's trades this week and just to change it up a little bit. So this was the watch list for Monday the 19th. The first one that came into question was SMMT. So as we can see, I knew Bao got a little bit of FOMO on this on the way up. You know, when he's shorting, guys, what he's doing is waiting for the stock to where it failed before. So like if he's shorting right here, he's waiting because it failed, be, be, you know, here first or here and then, you know, a, a level above or, or the same level previous right so that's the way to short if there is a channel so if it fails right here you can take a stab right here but if it doesn't work lo and behold that's why front side shorts require front side covers which Bao was actually doing right here so as you can see he was shorting he took a little bit of a loss on the way up front side shorts require front side covers if you're wrong but once this thing topped out and what and he's really good at this making it right back once it tops out and then once it does top out he's gonna hammer on the backside on any type of pop that he can get and ride trend down so remember guys where a stock failed before you can short with the with the theory and the proven um psychology of a stock should fail again unless it doesn't and if it doesn't because the trend is intact or a hot chick you cut it you can always re-attack and that's exactly what bow did so well on smmt now, if we go to ATNF, I'm going to bear with me here. I'm going to pull up a lot of examples. So we're going to the 19th. I'm going to try to be a little quicker. So 19th right here, Monday. This stock, guys, was exactly a day one. It's up quite a bit. Like, it's literally up a lot pre-market. So it's already overextended. And Bao does exactly what he should be doing. This He waits, doesn't attack any type of front side. This thing gives a total massive rejection in the open. What does he do? When something is way under VWAP, that rush back or that push back and that exhausting move back to VWAP is the game-winning trade. This is the outer line for something like this if you're waiting for the sentiment to change. And that's exactly what he did on ATNF really well. So SL, uh, SLNO was an interesting one. Let me pull that up. Oh, and guys, you're going to want to wait to the end of this video because I have something uh, to plug, which is going to be worth your while, and I think you're going to like it. So SLNO, he did a wonderful job on this, and I'll tell you why. So right here in the morning, guys, especially pre-market, this thing hits a top, you know, puts another top right here. Bow's essentially using outer lines into the open, especially because you kind of have to zoom in a little bit, but it's trading way under VWAP. He hits these lines, adds into the other outer lines, so VWAP to the next resistance level, does a wonderful job of covering. He even he even started pre-market, but what he did right here, um, he did a wonderful scale. It drops, it proves there's a top, he covers in just like I showed you on the previous examples, then guess what he does the stock filled here so now he's interested at where it failed before it's very clear once a major top is set in on where you want to hit again so what he did is he got in right here and then he used the channel right here until he was done and i'm pretty sure he didn't attack any of this he just felt it was too strong we're coming in a zombie hour the volume is much stronger than the morning and that is always a red flag so slno was handled just really appropriately let's see what the members were doing though i want to i want to kind of see what the members were doing so let's pull this up vindy Bo, i love this used his lines on slno did exactly what bow was doing awesome job nice cover uh just really quick you know pay yourself and then go to work i'm telling you make that money and then you're done 
Let me try to zoom in on these as best I can. I know some of them are, some of them are kind of small. Um, Vaughn on Cosm, absolutely wonderful job about outer lines. Paying himself immediately. Done. Knock on wood. Lucky. Move on. Love it. Um, I wanted to showcase some actual long, a lot of long trades this week, guys. And Bomb Bomb, Moogie is one of our long traders. So on something like VKTX, while maybe Alex or Bauer were looking short, does not mean that every single member was looking short. When this VWAP reclaims, he catches the support, a sniper entry, sells the rip, and that's exactly what you should be doing. So wonderful job on Bomb Bomb. Again, on SLNO, kind of does the same thing. Strong stock, waits for the support to hold. Obviously, you can see he's drawing his lines. Previous resistance is now support on the way down. Uses that. Awesome job. Cuts the rest. Probably looking for a little bit of a home run on 10, 15%. Cuts that. Pretty much break even. You're already cushioned from here and just a really well done job. Hooper X coming in with exactly what he's great at. Waiting for a stock to be weak. Waiting for the jump back up to a resistance point using lines. The whole MIC proprietary strategies. Nice cover. Very quick. Very efficient. Travers on SLNO. I wanted to showcase this one. I gave a webinar almost every single day for the last two weeks. But here's the thing, guys. Travers did a wonderful job on the way up and through this, you know, kind of chop, but it worked for him. Here's the thing. He did miss a big move on SLNO. Bow wasn't shorting during this time, and Travers just missed the big move. You're not always going to capture that monster move. We're talking about these. You're not always going to capture this on a short side offering or, you know, alongside just unbelievable rip. But you know what? Don't beat yourself up. If you have a process, he still paid himself. I just don't want you guys beating yourself up for no reason, and you're just going to drive yourself nuts. If anybody wants to see what Elena Musk looks like, well, there's your new CEO of Twitter, Elon. Look no further. Just put on a wig and change your pronouns. There we go. So we're coming in into Tuesday the 20th. Here is the watch list. I don't want to harp too much on that as I want to get to the uh, examples, but I'll leave this open for you a little bit. All right, so we are, let me pull this up for you, ATNF on Tuesday. Guys, this is day two of the move. Bow definitely, especially in the zombie hour, will whoop his ass on this one. In the zombie hour, he was not using the outermost lines. He got a little bit of FOMO. As you see on the way up, he's covering, he's fixing. On the way up, he's covering, he's fixing. But man, this is Bow's absolute, like, kryptonite on the front side to just him becoming Superman with no weaknesses. The minute these things top out, and of course, it literally put a top exactly where it failed previous the previous day. This is why these indicators, levels, lines, and all of these psychological targets are so important is once this started topping out, he got aggressive. And the thing that I'm most proud about him right here and following it all the way down is the fact that he absolutely smoke showed this pop. So again, when something is way under VWAP and does an exhaustive move back to VWAP, that's go time. Especially when the stock is broken in the backside which obviously we got right there this flush down who who could anticipate such a bleed off but if it did day one it'll probably do it day two if it got meat on the bone which it did so bow did a fantastic job uh bxrx i want to pull that up real quick we're looking at let's see here's the 20th this is interesting right this is interesting so where did did the stock fail before that's where you want to short Failed right here, so you can short right here. Failed right here again, put a major top in. You should be on these lines, 270. That's exactly where Bao was, covering on this wash and this. Not much more to say. Unbelievably efficient MIC process baked within that. Um, we're coming in at SLNO again, and it's going to be on, yeah, right here, day two. So day two of the move, Bao is sitting at the 162 area. And uh, I mean, what better, like there's nothing really to say guys. You get a dead cat bounce pre-market into outer lines uh, on something that's completely smoked with so much supply overhauling the demand. This is super broken. There's so many people stuck from day one, especially this bleed off after hours. Bao did, there's probably a pivot point. I don't have as much time to pull up every single pivot point, but I'm sure one coincided right there. Bao used it. Outer lines, dead cat bounce, um, continuation play, absolutely solid. Now, if we go into Alvi, Avi, I try to make names out of these things. <laughs> you know, Avi's up. 
And this is an interesting one, right? So it's up pre-market, guys. It puts in a top, it puts in a top, it puts in a top right here. And uh, again, where does the stock fail before? That's usually where it's going to fail intraday and or intraday based on another intraday level. Always pay attention to where it failed before. But Bow was actually just eager to hit it pre-market. And that's exactly what he did. So he was hitting right here based on the fail before, covered right, you know, immediately. And it's it's a really clean move. I'm sure he was probably on this play right here based on these levels. But you know, Bow, he sometimes trades 20 stocks at one time. Every now and then he'll miss a perfect setup just because he's got 10 others. So you never know with Bow. You know, he's got so much freaking going on it's like it's like Dan Balzerian with women man he'll never have a shortage I'm telling you right now if one girl drops through he's got 10 others on the way that's Bell with trading so you know I love what Alex put right here guys is just a quick lesson on ICCM look at this what he said the first top is set reclaim of high of day always 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 equals a stop out this is how it's safe to trade you can always get back in with another top that is set so four dollar resistance turns into support and a break of vwap to confirm i just love what alex said right there so i kind of wanted to showcase that um you know we give random lessons of mentorship all the dang time so you know that was just one of them in after hours Travers on ICCM, exactly what Alex was talking about, where, short, where smart shorts, I should say, smart shorts are stopping out. Freaking Travers is beasting into his cell. So this kid's already catching supports. He's squeezing the shorts and he's selling in the rips. Wonderful job. Um, let's see, Rockmon on ATNF long. Fantastic. You know, the stock is holding VWAP. It's doing what it's doing. He sells and, you know, piecemeals on his way out on the exits. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Anthony on V. VTKK long again stock is strong it's through VWAP it's deviated waits for support to hold draws his line sells into the rip what more can you ask for guys what more can you ask for we're gonna have an edge short we're gonna have an edge long but it's key that you know the time in which case each edge is displayed for each style of trader whether you are long or short all right so we're coming into Wednesday where I was given a webinar Bow unfortunately was a little too sick to come on but sick or not, Bow's going to trade, but he doesn't necessarily want to talk on a webinar for two hours, and I don't blame him. So what are we on? We're on the 21st, right? Yep, 21st, Wednesday the 21st. All right, so this is going to be, let's see, right here. This is Xcur on day two, guys. Um, this was interesting. It was a late day runner. Bow, while he broke a little bit of rules on time-based trading, I actually like what he did here because he's basing it on these previous levels where it failed right here. Whole and a half dollar, 150. There's not much more you can ask for that. Bow did a great job. I'm glad that he covered out immediately because you never know, right? Like if he would have held this thing over days, he would have been squeezed out, right? That's why we're a nail and bail community. So HTGM, uh, let's see, 21st right here. So I'll just kind of highlight the a couple days previous, which had some action, but this is really all we're going on. Um, again, guys, again, where did the stock fail before you want to scale into those outer lines stock fails here after hours on essentially quote unquote day one, maybe day and a half. Uh, so we're coming in a real like day one or day one and a half right here. And guess what? Bow's using whole and half dollar numbers, 13 exaggerated move tired by the time it gets to 13 and it coincides with this big top right here. I'm sure Bow would have scaled 13 to 15, but size down a little bit, but he had such precision entries that it's like, dude, you got to pay yourself immediately because when the stock is paying yourself immediately, that's what you got to do. So let's go into uh, Wednesday. Let's see what the members are doing. David on, I love this, man. I love this. David on lace, absolute phenomenal job. Uh, you know, guys, a, a, str a strong stock through view up a teleport candle. Sometimes all it takes is that teleport candle to give you a good, decent trade, right? That's what he did. He waited for it to, you know, on elevated volume, go through VWAP into, you know, into this support. It drops back down. He gets a good entry and then and it's off to the races, you know, sell on the, sell on the pump, sell on the jump, sell on the rip. Uh, Travers doing exactly what he did on lace, which he always does. This kid is always catching supports. He's always selling rips. He's catching them again. And then he's paying himself the entire freaking day. This kid knows what he's doing on the long side, man. Let me tell you, I, I, I'm, I'm very, very impressed by this kid on a weekly basis, uh, especially because he's so young. He's just getting it. Irvin 91. I love this where the stock failed before on lace. Well, guess what? He's right there shorting. And then he could have hit this one too, but he didn't, but he covered out here. I love it. I, you guys are just, you guys, you guys are after our hearts, man. You're killing it. S I N T strong stock over VWAP deviated. Where do you want to be as a long? If you are long, you want to be on support coupling factors. Exactly. With VWAP sell the rip. You guys are crushing it, man. You guys almost don't even need teachings anymore. This is getting ridiculous, man. You guys just get it so much. 
This is the power of MIC teachings, guys. I'm telling you right now. All right, so we're coming into Thursday. Couple of bow examples. You know there's going to be bow examples. There's endless bow. I can't, it's like shooting fish in a barrel with bow, man. He's got this guy pulls out examples like freaking a magician pulls out rabbits out of a hat, dude. Uh, so we get a parabolic push out of nowhere on YGMZ, guys. Bow did exactly what he's always doing. He was on this pump, nailed it, and then again when something is such an unbelievably dead pump, any pop is going to be sold off because so many sheep quote unquote sheep from other services on the pump rooms are going to sail immediately in a supply. And that's what bow did. And dude, I mean, it's rare that you could hold something like this overnight guys when it gives hundred percent of its move and then it does another 50%. But what are you going to do? The first day was absolutely a smoke show. Great job. Um, and that's always, always the case on these pumps, man. They're just these random pumps, guys, again, right here, they just get slaughtered within the same day or the next day because they're not fueled by anything. Jeff Bezos did not acquire the company. It's just a room with a big following with a lot of sheep that are trying to be fast and have hotkeys and bing, 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 bing. You know, they're just spamming the god dang hotkeys, man. So it is what it is. If you're on the opposing side, which we teach you how to be, you're going to be able to take advantage of stupidity as dog eat dog as that sounds. But welcome to the real world. This is a player versus player game. Welcome to trading. So this was another one of those pumps that was all over on MPW. Um, I'd say he was a little early on this, but he still caught a really good entry, scaled correctly, and was out. You know, again, you have to account for range on this one. So he was just, he was out quickly, paid himself. Awesome job this day. Did not hold it overnight, which sometimes will benefit you. It would have in this exact example, but sometimes you're just taking too much risk, guys. So it's just best to honestly just cover out. I mean, there's not much more you can do, right? On this one... I know for a fact, I know for a fact, Bao had a little bit of FOMO right here. We don't usually see Bao hitting these, especially because um, he's kind of chasing a little bit on this first entry, and he knew it, so he covered up. But what he did was he scaled this absolutely correctly into the outer lines based on where it failed earlier. You know, five line into 550, absolutely beautiful. And then he used the channel for the rest of the day. So not much more to say on Ulrich other than that, but Bao did exact process that works every single day, every single week. And that's what I want to, you know, kind to highlight and showcase now the members vindy bow again dude this this guy was awesome this week xpev just outer lines into vwap awesome awesome job reasonably izzy i'm gonna try to cruise through these a little bit because i got a lot more to talk about but catching supports selling the rips i love it on oric so again not everybody is a short seller not everybody's along we're a cohesive environment of two sides of the equation making money when the edge is presented based on time-based trading and day-based trading so go to Gerard, awesome job where the stock failed before. Let's hit it again. A little premature on those scales, but he scaled correctly and piecemealed out, followed the continuation play down. The only thing I would do is if this wasn't um, a fat finger short right here, I would just shore those up and don't chase. But this is solid. This is solid. You got to pay yourselves, guys. D Lee, absolutely fantastic job where the stock failed before using the whole and a half dollars into two covering out. I would say, I think this was picture perfect if he added a little bit right here, but that was just beautiful. That was beautiful. Soy sauce. What more needs to be said about soy sauce? He's a killer. This freaking guy's a killer. Uh, he pays his mortgage every single month using the MICL success trader route. Guys, do not sleep on those rebates. Soy sauce, just like Bao, YGMZ, thanks MIC, probably paid 12 months of his mortgage on that one trade, let alone the rebates. Let's go. All right, so let me pull up Friday the 23rd. Today, this was the watch list. Alex was out sick. Get well, Alex. Everybody wish Alex a good night's rest because he's feeling a little under the weather. Poor, poor guy, poor guy. Too much chocolate cake, Alex. Too much chocolate cake. But we're coming in today, guys, on Ape. And Bao did a wonderful job. Let this top out. Let this top out. Where the stock fell before. Ooh, I'm going to hit it right there. I'm going to cover out. And uh, I'm basically going to call it a day. How much How much cleaner can you get? Come on. I-M-R-N. A same, same, same exact thing, guys. Where the stock failed before. Right here. I'm going to be right here. And I'm going to scale this. I'm going to cover up. I'm going to follow it down. Because it's so broken under VWAP by this time. That that's all you can do. Remember. You don't have to be back up here, guys. When something is this far under VWAP. You can hit the pops on a broken stock on fading volume. But when you're still hovering and playing ping pong. And this thing is back and forth on VWAP. You got to wait to where the stock failed before. But if it's way under VWAP. You can be a little bit more. 
uh, liberal with your scales and or your entries. And just because you're following the trend down does not mean you don't have sniper entries. You're following the trend down. So you guys need to just be clear on that. Now, ISO today uh, was, was a, was a great short. And here's why, you know, it's broken from day one. If I pull up the pivot lines, I'll bet they're right there in the 170 line. Dow did a wonderful job scaling this covering out where the stock fell before. Let me hit it again. And then he got this, uh, you had to be quick, but he got that end of day kind of like nice little, the nice little crash. Um, M jam. Let me pull up this last one. Yeah, we can cruise through these guys. When you've been doing, when you've been trading as long as we have, you know you can do all these examples in about 20 minutes. Uh, awesome job. Just a random pump, like I showed you guys examples before. Trading way under VWAP, sheep are stuck. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna slam this, but you're gonna close up because the close is happening soon. So again, Bow was an animal this week, even though Alex was, uh, um, it was a little bit slower of a week for Alex because he's waiting for a little bit different setups or different lines, but Bow likes those channels. Bow likes those quick pumps. Uh, David on PRQR, just a wonderful job where the stock failed before. Outer lines, wait for it. Beautiful, a beautiful short, beautiful cover. Uh, Vindy Bo, nice rejection and took the view up. I love it. Same thing on go to, wonderful job. Uh, Travers again on Oric, waiting for a strong stock at support, captures the support, sells the rip, and then basically is break even on the last 15, 20% of the position. You you don't get much cleaner, guys. You really don't get much cleaner. And then uh, on Xpon, Lucas Jolly, wonderful, wonderful job. You know, guys, you don't need to capture all this. If you can, if you do, fantastic. This is all you need to have a full-time trading career, then go to work. Multiply, like dual income. That's the way to do it. So you don't have to capture every single part of the meat. Just capture most of the meat or at least a good chunk. Guys, this is our community of Slack right here. I want to showcase a couple things. So this is our chat room. This is here. I can actually close this. This is the chat room. So what you have right here is a watch list channel right here. Everything as it relates to a daily watch list. You know, what's Alex talking about? Multi seven figure a year. Alex Tamez trader is like, dude, here's your lines. Here's your edge. Here's why you have an edge. Here's why I'm hitting it. Here's what you should be looking for. Here are the warnings. Then you take it to the main trading chat and you have live commentary every single day and bows on this over and over again of war <laughs> bow and you know, making jokes every now and then. Uh, but the point is guys we have fun this is what the community is if you're learning how to trade you're not only gonna laugh network have fun with killers with the like-minded right-minded people and and laugh along the way with certain memes you guys are gonna learn how to trade correctly and it, again what guys look at this 2100 members close to in the main trading chat and this is the small cap room what are you guys gonna do you're going to learn from absolute slayers like steven and bow and alex the mod team and everybody who's a part of this community but if small cap's not your thing, we have a big cap and options room with Joe and, and guys who want to talk about spy and pivot points on that. And Maddie absolutely crushing Amazon. Like, look at this, look at these killers, dude. These, this is a community of absolute monsters. And then you have an after hours channel right here, guys, where we network, we shoot the shit. Uh, Bow said he's pregnant and this is what he's eating tonight. That is absolute, Bow, where's the nutrition, bro? Get this guy a celery stick. But you know what? That looks a lot of fun and, uh, Dude, I don't know how you're going to recover from all that, but awesome, man. But this is the point of the community, guys. It's fun. It's inclusive. It is literally everything you would want out of community from friendship to networking to understanding the language of trading. If you give us a year, by the end of that year, you're going to be able to do this, this job, this career for the rest of your life. We teach these guys how to be killers. So... And I mean killers in price action. Don't take that out of context. But so that's the thing, guys. We give daily webinars, everything in that regard. I'm actually going to go to our website real quick. I'm going to go to myinvestingclub.com. Guys, so this is our website, myinvestingclub.com. There's a couple things I want to point out. Number one, video library list. If I go right here and stay to the end, I'm going to plug something cool. You're going to, you're, it's worth your while. Stay to the end. So give me two more minutes. But if I go to the video library, guys, full roadmap, full linear structure of all of our content, how to navigate, how to be a monster at trading. And then if you scroll down, guys, the Jumpstart Accelerator course, the Getting Started in the Curriculum, open these up, especially if you're a brand new member. And then Alex's live trade series. So what this is, is Alex records his live trades, takes it to our editing team. And in a couple of weeks, that live trade is now 
audio commentary edited professionally for you, set to music. It's a total trader vibe. So you guys can learn absolutely 100% directly from multi seven figure year trader with a live trade guys that he's now discussing what he was thinking and what he was doing in this particular trade. All right, but the time is here. If you go to sale on the website, guys, Santa Claus is here and he looks like Alex Tamez, but what you're going to see is that we have a unbelievable holiday sale. It's a very limited time. This is no BS, guys. Your first month at MIC, we brought back two things, quarterly access and monthly for such a limited time. Guys, this is not going to stay on the website past Christmas. I'm telling you right now, this is only for a few days. $99 for your first 30 days of MIC for your first month, and then it'll be $198. You cannot sleep on this. I am telling you that we have traders that make millions of dollars a year day trading and have quit their jobs and do not have to go to work and report to a boss they hate or sit in a cubicle because they know how to click a couple buttons a day, no BS, and make a full-time living of a doctor, a lawyer, or multi-millionaire, whatever job you want to think of or whatever you want to equate to that. Guys, I am telling you, invest in your education with the way the world is designed right now and government and their spending and it inflation you cannot sleep on high income skills it is not only a prerequisite anymore it is needed you guys must learn trading soon the time gap and the time frame for people to get rich is literally closing in front of our eyes i'm not trying to scare anyone right now i'm telling you right now you cannot sit and sleep anymore with inflation so bad and cbdc is coming and all this bs that the government wants to push on us you must learn a new high income skill where you're in the driver's seat and this is what we're going to show you how to do. So if you've been on the fence, if you've been sleeping about MIC guys, you have a couple days to lock in this sale, but I'll tell you what you do have 24 seven. You have my text line at 213-458-5997, or you can book a free mentorship call right here. If at any point you need to get on the phone with me directly, one of the creators of MIC, one of your mentors, I give webinars weekly. I am going to discuss why you need to learn trading, why it would be good for you, and why I think MIC specifically will be really beneficial to you. But guys, I cannot stress enough, this will be only a few days this sale. We do not do monthly regularly. This is a um, exclusive limited access. Get it while you can. Happy holidays from Santa himself. I'll be, I, I guess I guess me, <laughs> Bao and I are the elves. But um, guys, happy holidays. Have a wonderful Christmas. And I promise you, time is of the essence when it comes to our sale and just how the world is shaping up and learning a high income skill where you're in the driver's seat of your own life. Guys, I will catch you next week. This has been fun.